YouTube and welcome to this edition of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm Ronnie Humphrey. As always, thank you guys for joining us today. Well, we got a couple of new little updates for you today. We're going to take a look at Ryan's Modified and let you see how some of the work is progressing on that. Johnny Vault, a longtime family friend, has been over. He's retired, so he's got time to do this type of stuff, but Johnny's been coming over and working on the car some. And uh, now Ryan has COVID and he's homesick. And speaking of COVID, I do want to give you an update on Buddy. Buddy has made a full recovery. He's lost a little bit of weight, and he is definitely weak, but he did come by the shop a couple of days ago, and he uh, looks looks pretty good. Uh, he actually returned to work this week, and I told him, hey, whatever you do, don't overdo it. So that's the most important thing, and uh, we're really fortunate, really thankful to have Buddy back here. I tell you, I was worried about it uh, there for a few days. It was a little, little scary, but glad he's made a full recovery. Now, like I say, we're going to discuss Ryan's Modified just a little bit. We're also going to talk about this trailer back here behind me. We had some new developments in my trailer and my stacker. And uh, I actually had my stacker trailer and my toter home both for sale. And I sold the stacker. And the guy's going to be coming down all the way from Minnesota to pick it up. But sit tight, and I'll be right back with you. And let's see what we can get going here. Okay, before we jump on the trailer update, um, this is where we're at with Ryan's modified, uh, as I was saying, he's got COVID right now and Johnny's coming over and kind of taking over, getting all the suspension located where we want to get it. And he's got his plumb bob there in position and, uh, he's got some temporary jigs made up to hold the rear end. That's pretty trick, but all this stuff has got to be precise in the right spot. If you want to be fast, I like his note here. Please don't move mod, rear end, not attached. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, it'd be pretty disastrous. We try to roll it around right now, it would not be good. So, coming right along, uh, Ryan did get all the front end replaced on the right front, and uh, he's ordered all the front suspension. We've got to get this left front still a little work done on it. But anyway, that's the update on that. So let's go see if we can get an update on this trailer and show you what our plan is. Well, for several months now I've been considering selling my stacker trailer and I put it online and a guy contacted me actually I had a bunch of people contact me wanting to buy it we're actually wanting to downsize we're actually wanting to get rid of our toter home I hadn't decided about the toter home I love his truck but uh, we had it serviced yesterday and had ACs and all done and uh, we had some trim work done around the door over here and we're going to uh go ahead and do a couple other items to it as well but uh, i didn't want to sell i want to sell everything as a package i didn't want to separate the two unless i sold the trailer first well i couldn't believe i had a ton of people wanting the trailer so we got out of here got everything cleaned up the other day or cleaned out and it is ready to go a man's coming down from minnesota to pick it up and it's all cleaned out and ready to go which that was a major deal I may post some pictures here of that for you in just a second, but it's ready to go to his new home, and he was going to come get it uh, actually today, and his stacker, I'm sorry, his toter home, he had a problem with the drive shaft, so he's having to get that fixed, but since we've sold his trailer, we have to have something else, so that's what we're going to discuss today here in just a few minutes. Well, to empty out the trailer, I made it pretty easy. We just backed the truck up right to the door and just started carrying stuff out. I ended up filling up the whole back of my truck with just miscellaneous tools and stuff that you have to have at the racetrack, but luckily it all fit in one trip. Well, except for the three sets of tires, but other than that, everything fit. We're going to go to an open trailer. Now, I found this one locally, just like 25 miles from my house. This is a Sundowner, it's called an Outdoorsman. And it's a car hauler with a very small box on the front of it. And that's the issue. The box is too small. You got about 19 foot of ramp on the back, open ramp area. Then you have about a six by seven foot box on the front with a 
enclosed tire rack area. So we're going to do a little surgery on this thing. I have it over a friend of mine's shop. We're going to go over there now and show you what he's doing. We're going to enlarge this box by about three feet, but it's going to be some major surgery. And it's a kind of a shame to do it to a 2020 trailer, but we got to do something to make this thing look a little better and plus make it a little more usable. So let's head over there to the shop and see what we got going on. It's a pretty interesting trailer. It's all aluminum, which that's good, but it's really weird how they have the running boards on each side of the trailer, which that makes the box real narrow. I'm not knocking the way they design it. I just don't know why they design it that way. But right now with the trailer storage, this is all I could find. It's a car hauler, one that's kind of specialized or made, intended for people who do rock crawling. But it's a 19 foot bed across the bottom. And then what I don't like, and what we're making the modifications is we're making a the box three foot further back that way. Right now it's only six feet and you just can't do anything with a six foot box. What the plan is, we're actually going to take that section off right there, move it back, which you see is exposed. Then we're gonna put a new three foot section in there. So we're gonna essentially turn the six foot box into a nine foot box then the back of the tire rack here, here will be back here, pretty much almost all the way back to the front fender. That'll make it look a whole lot more symmetrical. Right now, the bed is just way too long for what the uh, trailer length is. Okay, now it's a little bit easier to see what the plan is. We're gonna separate this right here and then just move this whole section back. And we're gonna build a, a new three foot section to replace it. So that's just gonna move everything back uh, to allow more room for inside. Currently taking the inside apart. have it exposed here pretty quick. Got the back wall off and now we have to uh, put the door in there. I actually gonna move that wall back. Then we have to install a door. Ordered the door today, should be here tomorrow or following day. Then we'll be able to get it in. So we're making progress. Okay, Chris and his crew have this thing totally stripped down now. And uh, to give you an idea, this is the original part. Now they're gonna pick it up and they're gonna move it back here to, the, to show you the difference. That's where it's going to sit. We've got it marked out, and that's how much we're going to add in the center there, and that's going to move it back here. Now, that's going to make it look a whole lot more symmetrical uh, from the side. All right, thank you, guys. He's trying to do it. He just doesn't have a coordination yet. Well, that wraps up this first edition on the modifications to our new trailer. As always, appreciate you guys watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. God bless you. You take care.